overall, I feel grateful for what I have, but overall it's really hard to see what we're going through and to watch what's happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now, what do I need? Um, I want people to do something. I just want action. Like, I just want, not even from us, but like from cis people and allies, like I just want them to do something so that like we don't have to do all the work all the time. But I know that's asking a lot. <laughs> Like, no matter what they do, like, we'll come back. Like, even if they, like, get rid of us, we'll be here in some way. And, um, I think that, like, if they were to eradicate us, which is what they like to say, uh, that I think they'd miss us, honestly. I think that, like, they don't understand, like, how much we give to the world or have given in the past. Um, and I think that, like, I think they'd regret it afterwards, you know what I mean? We are all different. Trans people do not fit some kind of mold that is birthed out of the binary. We are outside and beyond what the world has given us. We have found our own thing. And you cannot spot nobody on the road except me <laughs> and say that they are transgender. I like to introduce myself as non-binary and I usually put my pronouns in there. Um, just because when you do that right up front, then no one really has an excuse to, you know, you can tell afterwards when people are misgendering you or something else, you're like, okay, well, I already said it to everybody in this room, so everybody should know, and that's a conscious choice. I feel like I'm carrying, like, a multitude of energy in my body. Sometimes people just don't have the space and energy to be able to hold the truth and the fullness of how I'm doing. And in this moment, I feel like I'm holding just a sense of heaviness, but I'm also holding a sense of pride. I, I, I can see the changes in my life and I can see how far I've come. The focus has been on comprehension and not on compassion. And I guess the big thing that I want people to take from my life and my community is that you don't need to understand us to know that we're worthy of care and respect and love. It's, it's incredible what love can do. It's incredible what unconditional love can do. One funny enough is I wanted to shave my head like Stone Cold Steve Austin. It sounds crazy, but like me and my dad used to watch WWE or WWF before it was E, and I just, I really just wanted to be just like him. I just thought he was so cool, so badass, um, and I it like resonated with me because he drank beer like my dad. <laughs> like it was cool. He was cool. Um, and then like kindergarten, I was like, I really wanted to marry my teacher, but it was a lady, and I was like, I can't do that. Like that's not allowed. That's not cool. Um, and then in fifth grade, really, when it hit, and I didn't realize this until I was older, was I played baseball, and it really, really upset me that my parents pretty much had to, like, almost pay me to start playing softball, because they knew when I got to middle school, I would have to play softball. I wouldn't have the option to play baseball at all. So they were, like, trying to get me ready for that, and I remember... I had this like Rockville All-Star Baseball jersey, it was blue, and I always wanted to wear a white t-shirt under and wear my blue um, jersey open and just walk around with blue jeans and like I felt like that was the most euphoric like outfit I could have ever worn. I'm good, kind of tired, kind of anxious, um, a bit over it. I would definitely speak to online community and also in real life community because I kind of definitely have both um, in my hand or in my pocket or whatever. But I would say it's kind of like I get everything in a way. Um, food. Uh, there have been times where I've been like, oh my god, I'm hungry or can somebody help me out with a dinner and somebody has come through or like I'll give somebody food or maybe it's like a joke, laughter. 
I didn't really get a chance to really explore who I was until I was an adult, and it's like, I think it definitely, like, it, it can be frustrating not, like, ha having the world see trans people as, you know, a problem and not as human. I feel like visibility is, like, when I think of visibility, I think of, like, how clearly you can see something.